Sure. As uh, Lance indicated, there are athletes that basically think that the way they do it is the best way to do it. Um, the problem is that they never change. And very, very, I can't, I do not know an athlete that had that kind of attitude that ended up being successful. And it's been frustrating because many of them have tremendous talent, but they just want to do it their way. And it's a struggle for the coach because they don't want to go buy into what, what the coach wants to do because the coach knows what, what it has to happen to get things better. You're not the first athlete to walk in with a lot of talent. And it's frustrating when, when, a, when an athlete resists trying to change something. And uh, the other thing is, two real quick things. We really try and get the athlete to understand what they need to do because that motor, people that, that talk about how you get better says that's really important, that the athlete understand what has to happen. And secondly, they have to buy into the fact that, that uh, I'm gonna buy into this and do it that way no matter what. And if somebody beats me, it's because they beat me and I didn't beat myself. Because we have great situations where we've seen athletes just fall apart at the end of a race and their, and their velocity does this, wham! Because they see that finish line and they start reaching for it, leaning, and things just go south. I mean, the velocity just plummets. And I can give you races where athletes have given away medals because they start reaching for the line. So we don't, we, if somebody's gonna beat you, don't let them beat you because you beat yourself. Make them beat you because that day they're better than you, and then next week I'm back on the track trying to remedy that problem. That's the way that, that the great athletes approach it. Um, in 